Just how fast can we get an egg going? That's our challenge today in homemade science. Now we're going to try several methods, but my goal is to get this going at least 200 miles an hour. That's about the speed of a golf ball as it comes off a driver. But it's probably not a good way to launch an egg. Once we get it going, stopping it's going to be another challenge. But that's something we'll tackle in another video. Now obviously the simplest way to get an object moving is simply to drop it. From this height, it takes about 1.1 seconds to reach the ground, and we'll hit it at a speed at about 22 miles an hour. No matter how high we go, the fastest we're going to do is about 70 miles an hour, and to get to that speed, we've got to go up to about 800 feet, and the egg will fall for about 10 seconds. At that speed, it's reaching a terminal velocity. It's kind of like this egg balancing in a stream of air. It stops accelerating when the downward force of gravity and the upward force of air resistance are equal. Of course, another way to get eggs moving is to throw them. Okay, well, go During our study of impulse, I had several students throw an egg into a sheet to see if they could break it. Using a speed strip, we measured the fastest throws at about 49 miles an hour. I also tested some high school baseball players. That got us up to about 74 miles an hour. All right, my turn. My best throw was only about 63 miles an hour. I thought I'd try throwing an egg with the help of a mailing tube. It should give me a little bit more leverage. That worked really well. Of course, some throws are better than others. I found these elastic bands. I thought maybe I could try something with these. Not sure exactly how to use this, but I thought I could make some type of slingshot. With this one, I'll use my feet as posts and pull back on the band. When I measured this, it gave me a speed of about 69 miles an hour. Here's my slingshot. The tubing's attached to a five gallon bucket, it's attached to a wooden frame, and I pull back on this handle. I calculated the speed to be about 88 miles an hour but I did have a few problems with this device. All right, now I think it's time to switch over to something a little bit more powerful. In this case, we're gonna use a compressed air cannon. The eggs that I'm using are too old for eating, but they should be good for shooting. They're also the smaller size, so they fit very nicely into the barrel of the cannon. I tried this several times, and every shot completely disintegrates the egg. Well, that didn't work, so we're going to switch barrels to one that's a little bit larger. But I want you to notice that the egg it's a little bit small for the barrel. I can try and fix that by putting some wadding in first. The egg is simply too fragile. I think it's rubbing against the barrel as it's fired. Now the solution may be something called a sabo. It's a device that makes smaller ammunition fit into larger barrels. Now I've made a few different types and hopefully they'll protect the egg. This first one is called a cup sabo. It's going to push the egg forward and as it leaves the barrel, it's simply going to fall away. I found that this type travels the furthest with the egg before they separate.
If I tie a string to it, it will release quicker. I calculated its speed about 159 miles an hour. I really like this design. The egg sits inside and then as it leaves the barrel, the sides open up and the egg travels forward. This is an example of an expanding cup sabo and it's not actually supposed to separate. The base sabo, on the other hand, is supposed to separate once it leaves the barrel. Now that we see that the sabo and the cannon works, I think it's time to go bigger. We're now up to 284 miles an hour, and the higher speeds are giving us some very interesting flight paths. Now another possibility we have of launching eggs is using a vacuum cannon. The front end of the pipe is sealed with a thin layer of mylar. The egg sabo is added to the back end and also sealed with mylar. Vacuum pump will remove most of the air from the tube To fire it, you simply puncture the back end. The atmosphere pushes the egg forward and drives it out the other end. It surprised me that the sabo doesn't end up coming out of the barrel. It usually gets stuck right at the front end. The egg is accelerating through a vacuum, but when it nears the front end, I think air pressure builds up in front of the egg which stops the sabo, but the egg continues forward. When the sabo does come out, usually the egg is broken. When I measured its speed, it was about the same as the small air cannon. Well, we got really good results with both the vacuum cannon and the compressed air cannon. Now our final test is adding them both together. This rubber coupling gives a good seal, plus it also allows for flexibility. The tank is pressurized to 100 PSI. Just like before, the pump's going to remove most of the air out of the vacuum cannon. And of course, the front end has to be sealed with mylar. Okay. Three, two, one. While the coupling gave a good seal, it wasn't quite strong enough to hold the two pieces together. A little duct tape to the rescue, plus it's still gonna allow it to be flexible. While trying to measure the speed of the egg, I thought I'd try a little target practice. Combining both cannons together, I got a high speed of 329 miles an hour. For comparison, I tried it without the vacuum, and it was about 25 miles an hour slower. All right, now that we've seen how fast the eggs can go, now we're gonna try and see how far they can go. We're gonna start with a small one first. After a few shots, we went out to measure them. The distance range was between 650 and 700 feet. The 
most amazing thing is we found one that wasn't even broken. All right. All right, well. All right, now it's time to try it again, this time with the bigger cannon. Okay, 45 degree angle, I think we're ready. Three, two, one. Two, one. one. It's time to search for more eggs. Well, we had some pretty good shots. I think our longest one was about 900 feet. So even launching an egg faster than a golf ball, without that spin, it's simply not going to travel as far. Well, this video was certainly a lot of fun. I'm amazed that I was able to get a raw egg going over 300 miles an hour. Now in the next video, the challenge is going to be to stop the egg safely and keep it from breaking. Lower speeds, it's not too hard. But at 300 miles an hour, that's going to be quite a challenge. So far, I've been unsuccessful. If you have any ideas how to catch a 300 mile an hour egg, please let me know down in the comments. Okay, thanks. <laughs>